from the News Channel 5 Network. I'm Amy Watson with your morning headlines. Happening today, the man found not guilty on federal charges in an attempted bombing case now will head before a new judge in Williamson County. Mitchell Oaks was accused of rigging a homemade explosive device in his estranged wife's car two years ago. Well, just minutes after a federal jury found him not guilty of that crime, deputies arrested him on local charges of attempted murder. Oaks remains in jail on a $4 million bond. And at today's preliminary hearing, his attorney says he will ask to get that bond reduced. And get to know the candidates running for mayor of Clarksville and for city council tonight at 6 o'clock. The Clarksville NAACP chapter will host a political forum at the Letty Kendall Outreach Center on Oak Street. This is a chance for voters to meet the next potential mayor and city council members, and it's open to everybody. Tennessee crews are working hard in storm damaged North Carolina. Middle Tennessee Electric says about 200 line volunteers have restored power to 9,000 homes near New Bern. They are continuing work to try to restore power to about 40,000 total homes. So if you want to help, one easy way is by making a $10 donation to the American Red Cross. All you have to do is text the word Florence to 90999. All right, let's check our forecast. Here's Leland. All right, Florence now moving away. Have fair amount of cloud cover and some spotty showers from Florence in here on Monday. As it pulls away, the heat is back on. Highs in the 90s for us this afternoon. As a matter of fact, 90 degree weather over the next several days. Some hit and miss scattered showers and storms in for the weekend. 89 Friday and Saturday, mid 80s on Sunday. Make it a great day.